Ooh-wee. Things are getting so spicy that I may have to keep a gallon of milk next to me at all times. I mean, I know that I was fooled by the Tatiana Twitter account being a parody account. And you know what? Scratch that up. Give me one boomer point for that. But this video is 100% real. That's right. We have people in government or wannabes in government that are pushing for legislation. They want the government to get involved because of negative Captain Marvel reviews. I know you must be thinking, Jeremy, Boomer Jeremy got fooled by another parody. No, this is real. What do you think about this? I mean, I'm sure this doesn't surprise you. Look, I'm sure this doesn't surprise you. It's kind of a familiar story at this point, right? We were here with Ghostbusters. It seems like any time a woman steps forward and tries to you know, put her toe in the water for a male-dominated field, we're right back here. Wonder Woman. Exhausting for all of us dealing with so this So you think stuff. that that privacy is a, is a gendered issue. I do. Absolutely, I do. Well, it affects men too, for sure. But yeah. <laughs> so no, you don't think it is one. You, you're, you're just saying it is to, to push a narrative. Okay. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Does this mean we need legislation? Well, I think that there is certainly a role in Washington for us to address what women face, both in the tech industry and what users face on the other side. And there you have it. That's right. See, the thing is, the, the left that I remember, the left that I used to be proud to be a part of, was pro-free speech. But on the back of complaining about Captain Marvel, we are now literally talking about asking the government to get involved to censor people from something that... Quite frankly, you could just put down the phone. You could block people. There is no requirement for people to have a public Facebook profile or a public Twitter profile. You do not need these things to live outside of maybe some people who do this for a living. But that's why we have the block and the mute button. But no, because Captain Marvel is getting poor reviews because Brie Larson said some idiotic things... We need to bring the government in. Look, I want this tiny government, build my roads, build my bridges, and stay the hell off my lawn. That's what I want my government to do. I don't want my government spending time worried about Brie Larson's feelings because people don't like a movie she's in. Now, it sure would be a shame if Miss Brianna Wu here threw up the old, you know, if she threw up any controversial hand signals, you know, that, that might be an interesting thing to happen. It's very hard for me to point to one thing that's concretely changed for women in the tech industry. It's very hard for me to point to one thing that's concretely changed for women in the tech industry. We're nearly two minutes, three minutes into an interview and Brianna Wu has not mentioned how she defeated Gamergate. What kind of world are we living in here? When I stood up to Gamergate, I really believed that it was going to be a moment in 2014 and 2015 that really changed the tech industry. <laughs> and there it is. Of course, Gamergate. Is if you have people in Washington sitting on the Science, Space and Technology Subcommittee looking at this, that that threat of real legislation coming down the pipe will cause these companies to finally do the right thing. You ever notice how the right thing is always whatever they're pushing, whatever is uh, pro-censorship, whatever the ideologically extreme on either side of the spectrum, they view this as morally right. That's important language to understand. And I know there are a lot of younger people that watch my videos that may not be interested in these type of breakdowns response videos, but I think it's important to understand. And I'm going to link actually this. Uh, I'm talking about two different videos in this video. I'm going to link them both in the description below, and I want you to watch them in full context because I don't want to be accused of um, providing things out of context like these clips are literally in the full sentences that they're in and you can see it for yourself but I don't know what happened to progressives uh, but this is not what progressive thoughts should be these are regressive this is talking about 
pearl clutching. Um, and this is uh, frightening that people would, one, ask our government to waste time over essentially troll uh, internet reviews, or in this case, again, internet reviews they don't agree with. See, negative reviews about Captain Marvel uh, are not wrong inherently. They are morally wrong, according to people like Brianna Wu and people on the far left, apparently. They are morally incorrect. Uh, they are Russian bots. They are trolls. They are incels. Whatever word they can use to dehumanize your right and, your, and invalidate your opinion simply because they don't agree with it is what they're willing to do. And when they can't stop you, like Rotten Tomatoes did, Rotten Tomatoes removed your right to cast a vote. Make no mistake about it. This was 100% about protecting Captain Marvel. And make no mistake about it. This was because they disagreed with what you were saying. If, let's say, the movie was bad, which we know it's a, probably a mediocre movie that's going to do mediocre numbers and it's going to be a forgettable Marvel film, okay? But if everyone was giving it 100%, all right? If 100% of people said they wanted to see that, we can look at that number and know that that's highly unlikely to be true. It's just as unlikely as 0%, all right? In fact, it's more unlikely. But again, uh, would that... Would they have changed the review system for that? Of course not. They changed the review system because they disagreed with you and they view themselves as morally superior. They think they have not just their own opinion, but the right and only singular opinion. And that's why you get these pro-censorship censorship pushes. And the more you start to look at it, people say, well... What's pushing people to the right? And sorry to get more political, but again, this is more kind of a politically motivated video. What pushes people who used to be more left-leaning, like let's say I was, to more middle, middle left, middle right area? It's because the liberals used to push for free speech. Now the party of free speech is the conservative party by default. Because I guess they're not the ones actively out there saying this insane stuff. They're winning by default. Okay, They don't even have to have an opinion on Captain Marvel to have the overwhelmingly popular one. When you want to take people's voice away because you don't like what they have to say, we are talking about the definition of censorship. OK, and you can look at people that run a lot of these media companies. Let's look at, uh, for example, Pierre, uh, Pierre or Pierre, however he goes his name. He is uh, a high up at IGN. In fact, he is the co-founder of IGN. He put out this tweet this morning and I will leave a link to this video. Uh, it's currently at, let's see, uh, at this point. 6.4 thousand downvotes to 5.4 thousand upvotes. Um, there's been a lot of talk about concerted rating review brigading for Captain Marvel. Seems like it's still a thing. Our newly published, quote, positive review of unreleased movie has 3,000 downvotes and to 2,000 upvotes on YouTube so far, which is very different than most of the videos we post. That is verifiably fault false whenever ign has a bad take they get the feedback from the community and when you go and look at their actual reviews uh for example of um uh wonder woman there was not the same um voting discrepancy and IGN always gets a lot of downvotes, but this is virtue signaling. I expect this movie, this clip to have somewhere around 10,000 downvotes by the end of the day. If we just look, if we just look at IGN's channel, okay, let's pull up the Wonder Woman. Let's pull up the Wonder Woman review. Uh, let's see, do they have it? I should probably have typed review. Um, let's see that. This is just curious, you know, real time. I don't actually know the answer to this. Wonder Woman review. Okay.
Let's see. 5.6 thousand upvotes, 1.6 thousand downvotes. So again, is it fair to say that a few thousand downvotes on an IGN uh, video is unreasonable, is not par for the course? No, that's a lie. A movie that was universally loved uh, still had 1.6 thousand downvotes because IGN does crap work. Crap. Um, too much DC, not enough Marvel. Give it a 7.9 IGN. Not enough Call of Duty, 7.9 IGN. Why can't you guys just give it an 8? It's not Marvel, 7.9 out of uh, 10. So none of these comments are talking about, you know, uh, Gal Gadot's personal politics or anything. Um, this is probably one of the best DC movies ever, one of the best. Uh, and they just disagreed with your opinion. Uh, the, the point is, again, this is a company, you call this positive, who said, manages to take the best ideas of early MC origin stories like Iron Man and Thor and use them to form something that feels both familiar and fresh. It can be a bit on the nose at times, which is annoying, and occasionally has a fast track to ex its exposition in ways that can feel slightly clunky. But what it lacks in grace, it makes up in charm. That does not sound like an overwhelming positive review. You put out a review and then you whine that a few people dislike it. Well, here's a fact for you, Pierre. Uh, if you don't want feedback, and again, this is another person that, look, if I screw up, you all download, downvote the video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to upvote it. It helps the channel. It really does. And you leaving comments really does. And you sharing the videos on social media. All this stuff helps. And those are all forms of voting. Okay, and I would never silence my viewers, uh, whether or not they agree or disagree with me. But for whatever reason, it seems like when you go against the uh, not even the general narrative, the one that people are trying to force, they want to censor you. I wouldn't be surprised to see IGN disable their upvotes and downvotes in the very near future. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.